So these are wild guppies, freshly caught from sewage outlets just outside Iquitos. Now they're not native to Iquitos. These are native to the east coast of Brazil and up into the Guianas, but someone's introduced them, presumably someone working in the aquarium trade or keeping them as pets. But they've proliferated and reverted back to wild type. There's so many colors on them. I've got fish here with pink spots, purple spots, iridescent blue, orange, red. And some have all of those colors and some just have one or two. The colorful ones are all male. They're displaying to the females, trying to convince them to mate with them. And there was a brilliant study in which scientists moved these guppies between pools and watched how they evolved. They scored the male guppies for color, the number of color patches and the amount of color on them. And they found that in pools where guppies had predators, they had fewer colors. And in pools where guppies had no predators at all, they got more colorful and more showy. They didn't need to escape predators. All they had to do was to convince the females to mate with them. Some of these guppies have a lot of colors. So I don't know how many predators they have around those sewage outlets. Probably not too many, because the sewage outlets are close to the city and any big fish are also being fished quite heavily for food. Guppies are famously the horniest fish in the world. They will not leave the females alone. People who keep guppies and breed all sorts of color forms know that you have to keep more females than males. Otherwise, the males will harass the females to death. And if there are no females, they'll harass each other to death. The females are always pregnant, you can see the fat bellies, and they give birth to live young. And that's one of the secrets they have in maintaining their populations around these sewage outlets. I don't know how far they've extended out into the Amazon, but surely around all the sewage outlets around the city, you're gonna find these things, and you're gonna find fishermen fishing for them. That's not for the ornamental fish trade. These things are used to feed other fish. There have been a proliferation of fish farms around Iquitos. They're promoted by the government and there are grants to build the ponds and stock them with paichi. Fish that are in trouble in the rivers. There are fewer and fewer paichi in the wild every year, so hopefully these fish farms will conserve wild stocks. But is this sustainable? Are we going to run out of guppies? Well, so far, no. These guppies have been fished for years and never seem to decline. They always seem to bounce back. And if they were overfished, this is an introduced species. They'd kind of be restoring fish populations to what they were. And it seems to be a much more sensible way of doing things than buying fish food that's prepared from fish caught in the sea over in Lima, where fish stocks are in trouble. They're well overfished. So there they are, the wild guppies of Iquitos, an invasive species that might turn out to be quite useful.